Hey guys, it's Ashley, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my TBR for The Reading Rush. If you don't know what The Reading Rush is, it's basically Booktubeathon, but with a different name so that it's more open to people all across YouTube and Instagram and things like that rather than just strictly Booktube. It still has the same reading challenges, the same video challenges that it always did. If you've been following me for a little bit, you know that I did participate in the Booktubeathon last year. I I think last year was the year that I did all of the video challenges and did most of the reading challenges, which I was pretty happy about. This year I'm looking to just do the reading challenges and vlog it, so rather than doing the video challenges and having to upload one of those a day, um, this is what I want to do. <laughs> Basically the reading rush consists of seven book challenges where you're supposed to try to read a book for every challenge within one week. Some books can count for multiple challenges, but I am not trying to do that. I'm really trying to read all seven books in one week, so we'll see what happens there. But I thought it would be fun to put some polls up on Instagram and ask you guys to vote on books that I should be reading for each challenge. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, uh, my handle will be right here if you're interested. Sometimes I put up things like this, and if you don't want to miss them, that's where they'll be. But uh, for the people who did vote, here were the answers. So the first challenge was to read a book with a purple cover. So I had chosen either The School for Good and Evil, which sort of, kind of has purple in it. Like, that's purple and that's sort of purple. I don't know, the whole cover just gives me like a purple feeling, so that's why I chose it or Geekerella by Ashley Poston. And with 53-ish percent of the vote, you all chose Geekerella. So that is what I'm gonna be reading for my purple cover challenge. As far as I know, Geekerella is like a Cinderella story retelling about a girl who is at this like Comic-Con-esque convention and this boy who is in a TV show of her favorite adaptation, maybe? I'm not really sure but um, that's what I've gotten from it. I know it has something to do with Cinderella, so I'm eager to see just how cute and cheesy this story ends up being. So the next challenge was to read a book in the same spot the entire time. So I had you guys choose between Sanity and Tallulah by Molly Brooks or Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, and with a whopping majority of the vote, you guys chose <gasps> Nimona. So we're gonna be rereading Nimona. I purposely picked a graphic novel for this one so that I could just easily like sit in my bed, fly through the whole thing in one sitting and be done with it. So I'm gonna be rereading Nimona. I really, really, really loved the story when I read it a few years ago. So I'm very, very eager to hop back into this world. The next challenge was to read a book that you meant to read last year. And for this, I was trying to choose between Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab or Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Both are written by an amazing, wonderful author who is one of my favorites. Um, both are sort of different stories, and both are sequels that I never got around to last year. So with a majority of the vote, you all chose Vengeful. I was so, so hyped for this to come out last year, and then I just never got around to reading it. So I'm very, very excited to know what all of this is about and how this is going to end and what's gonna happen and who the heck Marcella is. She's a new character. I don't know who she is, but I'm very eager to find out. This story is all about supervillains and what you would do if you had the power of a supervillain and like the differences between villains and heroes and stuff like that. Um, it's a really, really great, dark, interesting read. So if you're interested. So the next challenge is to read an author's first book or an author's debut novel. And for this, I had chosen either Red Rising by Pierce Brown or Frostblood by Ellie Blake. And you all chose Red Rising. I'm really, really excited to read this because I've had it on my TBR for a really long time. I've been super eager because it's just become such a popular series ever since like the sequels and more of the series came out. It's set on Mars or something or like some planet. It's some kind of like sci-fi story. Truly, I really don't know, but I'm very, very interested in finding out. <laughs> so then I'm supposed to read a book with a non-human main character. Now for this one, I kind of fudged a little bit <laughs> because I literally could not find a book series with a non-human main character that like I really was interested in reading right now. So I kind of fudged. These characters are human facing, but they have some kind of like power slash other half to them that makes them not fully human. So that's what that's about. But uh, the books that I had chosen between were Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake and Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. In Three Dark Crowns, these are three sisters with powers who are fighting to the death for the throne. And in Dragon Pearl, the main character is a girl who is also a like Kitsune fox spirit or has like fox magic and shape-shifting powers. So they're like part human, part something else. But the book that you guys chose for me to read 
the I just dropped one. It's three dark crowns. If anybody remembers, I actually read the first chapter of this book for my Chaya chapter video that I had done a few months ago, and I really, really liked the first chapter. So this honestly might be the first book that I start reading. I don't know, maybe, we'll see. So then we're supposed to read a book with five or more words in the title. So I had you guys choose between The Astonishing Color of Ever After by Emily XR Pan or A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And I'm sure you guys can tell which one you voted for. No, it's this one. <laughs> I feel like you guys just know me so well. This is obviously going to be a reread for me, so I'm very excited. Um, I started rereading it not too long ago, like earlier in the year, if not sometime last year. Never got around to finishing it. So this is my chance. I'm ready to finish the reread, <laughs> finally. But I am gonna be starting from the beginning, just, just so that we're clear. Also, can we talk about how you guys, for some reason, have something with like a red and black cover this this time around like look at this a darker shade of magic then we've got three dark crowns then we've got vengeful and then we've got red rising like these are all the same sort of color palette Ooh, this is not going well these are literally all the same color palette and then we have like geekerella and the next book that I'm about to share with you that totally do not go with this at all so I'm gonna have some very different genres in, in this reading readathon happening here. Finally, the last challenge is to read a book that you can also watch the adaptation for. And so I had you guys choose between To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han or The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Both of these would be rereads for me because I've already read them, um, but I haven't seen The Sun is Also a Star, the adaptation yet. I have seen To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And the one that you guys ended up picking for me was to all the boys I've loved before. So I'm gonna be rereading this story, I'm gonna be rewatching this film, and it's gonna be a great time. So the technical final challenge of this readathon is to read seven books. So I have seven books picked out. I'm really, really eager to read all of them this week. Not this week, I think it starts on June 22nd, so it's next week. I'm really, really eager to start and read all of them. Um, we'll see if that happens. I'll be uploading my vlogs. I don't know if they'll be daily vlogs or if they will be uh, every other day or like three days at once or like a big vlog at the end of the week. I'm really not sure. So um, let me know what you would prefer down below and I'll see if I can work with it. But as you guys know, sometimes I try to do things and they just don't work. So we'll see what happens. But I will take your preferences into consideration. So let me know down below. Also, let me know if any of you guys are participating in the reading rush this year, how many books you're hoping to achieve and what kind of challenges you are going to do, if you're going to do the video challenges or the reading challenges or what have you. I'm really excited. I made this sort of like a last minute decision, even though it's like a week away, I feel like it was last minute, but I think I've got some good books here, a good mix of like rereads and new reads. So hopefully I can get through the rereads pretty quickly and then take some more time to focus on the new books. So that is going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very excited for this readathon and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.